Hello everybody. My name is Dr. Emily Hannah Crane. I am professor of music for the violin and viola at Austin Peay State University in Clarksville, Tennessee. I also teach chamber music and the coordinator for the orchestral strings area. I am coming to you from my music room where I have been teaching online lessons, I have been doing Zoom conferencing with my colleagues, and I have been doing a recording project that I will share with you later in this video. One of the challenges of teaching in my studio is that it's in my house and I don't have the privacy and the lack of distractions that I normally would. We have two wonderful children and my husband's at home as well because uh, he's a school teacher and they're in school and the school is out for the next couple of weeks, maybe even in the uh, next couple of months. And so there's constant distraction, noise, we have a cat and there's not really a the ability to concentrate on the tasks that need to happen and I'm sure that a lot of students are feeling the same way. When I started teaching online I realized that while lessons could work through video conferencing that um, chamber music just did not work which is uh, very much a part of what we do as musicians we play with one another and I started researching uh, free software and applications that would help with recording and possibly either sending tracks to each other uh, for my students to do that or to play different um, tracks for themselves and to be able to play a piece, maybe an arrangement of a chorale or an arrangement of a piece that they could create um, so that they could have that chamber music experience. So when I was thinking about what song or piece to make an arrangement of, I thought about maybe doing something from the popular genre rather than classical music. I just love alternative rock and I love musicals and I thought I have lots of choices and I decided that one of my favorite songs that we do as a family and we play as a family is Like a Stone by Chris Cornell. And uh, Chris Cornell was a member of Soundgarden and Audio Slave, who's the lead singer for both of those bands. And this song um, was also recorded by him in an acoustic version. So my husband um, started learning the acoustic version of, the, of it a few years ago after Chris Cornell uh, died suddenly. And as a family, we started to sing it at night um, along with other songs that we love like California Dreamin' and he really likes Jim Croce and uh, Jimi Hendrix and so we kind of sing a variety of music at night. In fact I will play for you a, a very short attempt at um, singing together in our kitchen while we were cooking and I was trying to show that you know we can um, play and, and, and do things together, but it, it turns out to be pretty funny. Go ahead. Oh, you sing. Oh, you want me to sing? Oh, oh I sing with you. Oh, okay. I'm not going <clears> to sing that. All right, here we go. That's in the other part. Okay. Here we start there. Here, you're nervous for the camera. All the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown. and the skies are green. The sky is green. For a while. So as you can see, that is not our number one talent, singing or playing guitar, but I thought, you know, I'm going to put myself out there and show everyone that we're trying to collaborate and we're trying to make some, some music together. So what I'm going to show you next is uh, three different tracks from the five or six that I ended up doing uh, for this. And the first one will be the viola bass line. Um, I can only play viola and violin well enough to uh, play in public. As you can see, my singing is definitely um, not <laughs> very good. And so I do that first. And then next I play the melody on the violin. And then I play kind of this little rhythmic riff that I call guitar riff. And it's just something uh, that I made up or uh, just added to uh, kind of the uh, texture of the piece. And I'll show you those three examples next.
I hope you enjoy. And here it is with the three voices plus viola second bass and a, a violin duo. <laughs> So uh, it's pretty cool for someone like me, who is uh, not a cool kid, to be able to play an instrument well enough and to have the, uh, the recording technology available to play kind of these rock tunes that I've always really wanted to play and um, record, and I never really had the time to do it. So I guess that's one of the positives of having isolation and sheltered in place and having uh, kind of more free time because I don't have meetings and, and rehearsals and things like that. Um, I do really miss playing with other people, so I really look forward to that not being the way that life is for much longer. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to share my final project with my students to help encourage them to maybe do some projects of their own, and I hope that that will inspire them to, to do that. My whole purpose of doing this. <laughs> <laughs>